Hello and welcome to this short demonstration. Actually getting the Superman effect we saw in that video snippet is very straightforward. Uh, here I am in EasySketch Pro. Uh, let's go to the image library and in this case under people we pick our Superman and let's make him a bit smaller like so and fix camera. It's always good to fix a camera after you've done anything with an image I find. Now what we wanted to do is fly in from here into the, into the screen and then out at the top right corner and to do that we right click, we go to properties and we change draw by hand to drag in and then we pick the direction we want him to come in from which is the bottom left corner so it'll be this one here and let's adjust the time to say one second and now we have to set an exit action um, and again we want drag out and we want him to go out top right now for some reason in Easy Sketch Pro uh, exit top right is actually this one don't ask me why I think it's going to be a change in a later release but we'll use this one and we need to set drawing time because otherwise we won't see it happen so we'll double click on that and we'll make that a second as well and then I drop the translation down to zero and apply OK and then we just press play and there he goes it's as simple as that you can also create other effects using the same sort of approach so for example let's say we wanted the ball to come in and out of the uh, picture um, let's open up the image gallery and let's get our uh, football and let's make that smaller like so and we want this to sort of come in bottom left come up and go out bottom right so we put the ball where we want it to change direction say there fix the camera position and then we go into properties and again we want drag in and it's coming in from the bottom left so we want this one here let's make it a second and again we want an exit effect which is drag out and we want it to this time go out bottom right and again this is a, a little weird but to go bottom right we actually want this one here as I say this is uh, going to be changed in a future release and we want to set our drawing time to a second drop the translation down to zero apply and if we press play now the ball comes in and comes out. Simple as that. Okay, as a final example, let's suppose we want an object to come into the picture and hit something and bounce off it. Uh, let's go into the image gallery and pick this footballer. Let's move him down here, say, fix the camera, and we'll have him drawn by hand, and let's have it take two seconds. Drop down the translation apply OK. So if we press play he just gets drawn like that. Now let's go back in and go to the sports section uh, find our football again. Let's make that about the right size something like that. And let's say we want the football to hit him in the head. It's a bit cruel but anything for a laugh. Uh, so we fix the camera there and then in properties we want this to say come in from uh, horizontally from the left so we drag it in horizontally from the left drop it down to about one second uh, and this time we want an exit again we want it to be dragged out and let's say we want it to bounce uh, towards the left and up and uh, again uh, with this these slightly weird buttons uh, this is the one we have to pick and we'll make it uh, sorry, make it one second, apply, no translation, apply, OK. And then if we press play, we get our footballer, in comes the ball, and off it goes. And then uh, if we wanted to, we could actually go to uh, speech bubbles, and I don't know, let's pick that one, uh, bring that down bring that over here, fix the camera and we'll have this one 
just appear. Uh, minimum time possible, no translation, apply and OK. And we'll get a bit of text. Um, let's use uh, permanent marker as the one I like. Uh, drop that down to about 24. And let's have him saying, ouch. OK, so we take that, we put that in the speech box, uh, fix the camera. Properties, again, we don't want to do anything. Just have it appear, apply, OK. And now if we press play, we get that. Okay, so with a bit of imagination, you can have a lot of fun with this. Thanks for watching.